Hello there crime enthusiasts. Welcome back to Seagulls This and That. In today's video, we bring you the latest updates from the Senso Maiwa trial. The defense has attempted to discredit a witness after damning photos were found on an accused phone. Stay tuned as we delve into the details of this high-profile murder trial. In the High Court in Pretoria, police officer and cell phone analyst Moses Mabesa revealed shocking photo evidence against one of the accused in the Senso Maiwa murder trial. The photos, found on the accused phone, depict items such as guns, ammunition, an axe, a ponga, and bundles of money. These pictures have raised eyebrows as witnesses previously testified that one of the intruders had dreadlocks, which matched the appearance of the accused in the photos. Advocate Charles Naisai, who represents the accused, attempted to discredit the credibility of Moses Mabesa during cross-examination. Naisai questioned Mabesa on whether he was qualified to accurately identify dreadlocks in one of the photos. Mabesa asserted his certainty based on the hairstyle depicted in the photo. However, the defense lawyer's line of questioning drew objections from the state prosecutor, George Beloy, who questioned its relevance. After a back and forth between the defense lawyer and Moses Mabesa, Judge Ratha Mock Gotling intervened and requested a book be brought into the court to guide the cross examination. The cross examination will continue on Wednesday, allowing both sides to further scrutinize the witness's credibility and the authenticity of the photos found in the accused phone. Another crucial witness in the trial is Senso Maiwa's longtime friend, Ntokazisi Thwala. Thwala took the stand for a second day, corroborating claims that Maiwa was shot during a robbery gone wrong. Thwala described the events leading up to Maiwa's tragic death, stating that two armed intruders confronted them, demanding phones and money. He identified one of the intruders as having dreadlocks and the other wearing a hoodie, matching the descriptions provided by other witnesses. During cross-examination, the defense accused Thwala of tailoring his evidence to suit a particular narrative. Advocate Charles Naisai questioned Thwala's account of where Maiwa's body was positioned after he was shot. Naisai highlighted inconsistencies between Thwala's testimony and that of another witness, Kaya N. Ketch. The defense lawyer claimed that Thwala's version of events was contradictory, while the state prosecutor objected to this line of questioning. In response to the defense's line of questioning, Judge Ratha Mokkotling intervened, questioning the material difference of Maiwa's body positioning. The judge emphasized that the crucial fact was that Maiwa had been shot and stated that the positioning of his body was not a determining factor. That wraps up today's video on the Senso Maiwa trial. Stay tuned for more updates on this high-profile murder trial by subscribing to our channel, hitting the bell button, and sharing this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.